Hi everyone, let me quickly introduce you to the Signet Infotech Stack Stack expert that we have on board. Hi Krunal, welcome and thank you for being a part of this. Hi Supriya, thank you. Uh, so Krunal, uh, there was this one particular recent uh, allocation meeting that happened with the GSTN officials where they discussed about the IRN and if the public, uh, if the fintech private companies uh, should be um, uh, allowed uh, the IRP. What is your view about this? Yes, so GSTN in, in its last committee has has uh, conveyed their intention to allow private fintech companies to act as an IRP. So the okay. reason is that it, uh, Gradually, they are bringing down the threshold for generation of invoice. Earlier, it was five, uh, 500 crores, and now it has now it is 50 crores. This is also intended yeah. to be reduced further. So, with this reduction, the volume of transactions would increase a lot. With small and medium enterprises coming in the scope, and uh, bringing the private IRPs would allow allow the system to handle this, and it will de-risk the entire ecosystem from a single point of failure, so that. It, so that we can handle the volume. This is the main intention. Okay. And also the invoicing is likely to be extended to B2C transactions going forward. Okay, Krunal, uh, that's informative. What I would also want to know is, what do you think would be the service model for these private IRPs now? Um, so the uh, private IRPs would be required to allow generation of invoices that would be free of the cost. But additionally, they uh, they would be allowed to charge for the over the top services. So that is why uh, that would be one avenue for revenue avenue of revenue for them. Yeah. So it can be in the form of analytics, it can be in the form of compliance services, and so on. But one thing is sure, this is going to bring a lot of efficiencies and innovations in this industry. So Krunal, are you suggesting that this is also going to help in increasing the revenue? Yes, because government is and uh, government would be having a lot of data to analyze with all this thing, all the taxpayers within a particular threshold coming in the in this entire ecosystem, and uh, this is this is also going to be linked with the e invoices, their GST returns and everything. So the uh, surely that it will help in increasing the compliance in and the revenue collections as well. That's something that I would want to know. That you know, how does this increase in the revenue collection will happen? Okay, so as as more and more taxpayers come within the scope, um, so there will be increased transparency in reporting the sales transaction, in increasing the uh, in increasing um, the say we can say reconciliation of the input tax credits yeah. uh, because of this e invoicing and IRN numbers. So uh, so it will reduce the uh, fictitious claim of input tax credits or say short reporting of the sales and outward tax liabilities. Yes. This is how it will yes. it will increase the collection in due course. Okay, and Kunal, you know, what do you feel? By when uh, will this likely to be implemented? We do not have any timelines for this as of now, but GSTN said this is in its introductory meeting. They said that it is likely to be introduced in next uh, eight to twelve months. But we do not have any timelines and GSTN has not committed to this as of now. So Krunal, moving ahead, what I would want to know is, what do you think would be the expectations from the GST in uh, GST collections in July? Um, so, looking at the current trend and the number of e-bills generated and the and the usual economic activity, the collections in July, which will be reported on first or second August, are again likely to cross the benchmark of one lakh crore. Because uh, in in June this was this was reduced and because of the partial lockdown across the country, but again the economic activities has have, is growing and it's likely to cross the benchmark. Okay, Kunal, wonderful. Just to sum up, I would want to know, as as an expert, what is your opinion about this certain regulation that has come up or the decision that has been pending but will probably be implemented by the government very soon? Do you see a positive feedback to it? Um, yes, certainly, because this will allow uh, allow the private fintech companies to provide value added services. So, a lot of lot of uh, lot of innovation is going to happen. The the clients would benefit from the value added services. And at the same time, government will uh, government will benefit from a lot of data coming in the system. And the main point is that as we as the base of base increases, the single point of failure would be avoided. So um, it is very likely that we yeah. won't experience any downtime or sub service failures when we have multiple IRPs at the same time. And the clients would be free to choose any of them. This is wonderful and uh, I got to know a lot of new things, got to learn a lot of new things and I'm sure even the viewers who are watching this would be um, 
helped out of all the knowledge that you've shared with us we'll definitely catch back again maybe in a week or two's time and we'll discuss on something else in the future meanwhile thank you so much for coming and uh, being a part of this sure thank you